be nothing but the deceit. The crust in the corner of famous Dex lips. You have talked shit about me before, but I'm not gonna lie. The content on your channel is pretty fucking solid. I do fuck with it. Um, got a call to Ohio to crust. See if crust gonna pick up. Hello. Crust, what's happening with you, dog? What's good with you, man? What's the drilly, man? Yeah, I said I'm chilling, man. So let's, let's chop it up. Yeah, let's chop game. I know, I know you a uh, you a big part of the whole uh, Reddit community and all that for No Jumper. You a big um, you feel me? You got your YouTube channel. Like I said, you even got at me sideways a few times. But I do enjoy your content. Talk to me though. What you gotta say? I felt like people was trying to like protect Adam, and me and you had a conversation on already. I'm not going to disclose what we talked about, but yeah, you told me you knew what was going on. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. So I had to step back and try to you know like reevaluate the situation. I'm gonna come at it. Right. I know you got a good heart, and I, I I can tell by the shit little shit you say on there. I know you know what's going on. I, why do you feel like? Cause you know, when I first got um, when I first came on the No Jumper show, the Reddit was like, I still to this day, even as much as motherfuckers be rocking with T-Rail, I feel like the way people were rocking with me, I had never seen somebody get as much support as I got. What do you feel like was the catalyst of people switching up on me? And what did I do? Because I'm not saying it's not my fault, but what, what do you feel like I did? Or like, why do you feel like people switched up on me? Man, honestly, it's just trolling, man. They're manipulating the Reddit. Adam and Josh are mods. They got Danny Moe fans. They got Destiny fans. All in the ready. And trying to control it. They delete anybody who bans them. I mean, they delete anybody who calls them out. They ban you. So that's why I had a conversation with you. Like, Lush, bro, you got to low-key chill on it already because these trolls are getting to you. And yeah. I'm in local mental health. I, I know I deal with some own, my own like, issues. You know what I'm saying? So I already know how it, how it feels. So, you know what I'm saying? They try to put you on blast. They try to do all this weird stuff. I'm, I'm really feeling that. So I know, I know that all that trolling shit. Adam and Josh, they promote that, and they're trying to lie and do the spin around and do all this weird shit. But I got clips. I got, I got all the evidence. Damn. So you can keep. They can keep playing if they want to. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna make it worse for them. I'm gonna make it worse. I got evidence of everything. You know, it, it's crazy because I remember one time Adam had said to me. He said, you know, if I sometimes I think about if I wanted to, I would just have 10 different uh, troll accounts or whatever and like could sway consensus and make people think whatever I want them to think. Message. You are continuously making things harder for me by just speaking on me. You feel what I'm saying? Because you have a following that rides with you through your allegations. And I don't know who you paid or they might, they possibly could be trolls. It could be you. You feel me? Because every time you finish an interview, you go straight to the phone. All day. Just be on the phone. And it's just, I never understood like Reddit. Like, how could you be shit? 30 plus and you sit on that all day. But covering your shit up not around us. You ain't about to try to make us look crazy and then just cover your shit up. Nigga, you are crazy. That's a mental problem right there, Adam. That's a mental issue right there. Oh, I'm going to take mine off and leave theirs. Sniffler. Sniffler. That's a problem. You feel me? My thing is, leave Big Ski the fuck alone. And now it's like at a certain point, it's like, have y'all motherfuckers been doing that? Oh, it's, it's, it's facts. 
we, we got a list of the people we think are burner accounts, and it times up with a little time slot where they take breaks off the show. And you, and the way Adam's a sociopath, so the way he talks on the show in real life is the same way he talks on Reddit. Damn, it's hard to really distinguish. Yeah, that's some like, shit. That's some shit, bro. I don't even know. Like you know, yeah, I, and, and the, shit, the shit really changed when Flacco got there last summer. To be real with you, Flacco run that weird internet shit there. The, the, the cold thing is, bro, like, I wasn't even finna be acknowledging this type of shit. Like, Adam said to me, like, look, we're not gonna be talking bad. Like, I'm not gonna be trashing you or down-talking you on the show. Not only, like, this fool was calling me a lol cow. He called me a snake multiple times. When? Like, I'm, like I didn't do like that. This weekend. Yes, you did. And why, why would, do you think multiple people who are in the Discord just made it up? I mean, I don't know, like, like literally, I talked about it in the Discord, but I didn't say any quotes. Yeah, you did. Well, then how the fuck do people know? Bro, like, who else did you talk to about that shit? Nasty! Do you feel like, in retrospect, you could have possibly been like, hey, let's just reshoot this later and then chalk that episode? I think if it had been edited properly, then nobody would have ever known that there was anything in there about him you know it still could have been like over an hour's worth of content with all that stuff removed obviously to be honest that was probably the funniest and most noteworthy stuff of course but the rest of the conversation was still fucking fine and uh you know honestly the episode that's up right now they could edit like or they did edit it but i mean that's exactly what it would have been like and so i don't know i mean it it Part of me is like, oh, maybe I should have actually rewatched the whole thing just to make a hundred percent sure because it was that serious. Yeah, it wasn't but. clear. House phone. I apologize for any fucking grief that this caused you, for the fact that any of this even became a thing in general. I'm sorry. It's just you know, yeah. I don't even know what else to and say. And I, me and House phone spoke yesterday too after disconnected. I literally waited till the end yeah, of disconnected me, to facilitate. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, uh, we're cool. Like. He, he he understands my perspective. Like you know, I I did my best to try and protect him, uh, but you know, I fucked up. So you know, the, the community, our community, be on shit. So a couple of the you know our people out the community sent me an interview of Adam and the white boy he did the shit with, talking a month prior to this interview that came out that leaked the information, him saying. I've been around we I have a I have a friend that has a mutual friend that pulled me to the side and told me that she's been with people that's in my inner circle. So you knew this shit a month ago. Oh god. And you still decided to sit down and interview the bitch. You know what I'm saying? And then my editors missed it. Yeah, and fuck yeah, them. Right. Why the fuck is them niggas not fired? Like, let's really talk about it. You want to hold somebody it. the fuck accountable? Who the fuck missed that? Who the fuck missed it? I, matter of fact, I know who missed it, Mikey. I know who missed it, Bossa. That's your job. All you get paid to do is watch the videos and make sure they get uploaded right. How how do you magically, mysteriously miss that? And y'all niggas tried to cop plea too. Let's talk about it. Keep it a bean. That part that y'all missed... Was in what the last two minutes of the video or some shit like that? Keep it real. You didn't watch the whole video. Well, I watched it twice before I went to sleep. No, you didn't finish the whole video. You stopped it before it got all the way to the end, cause that's the only explanation it could be. Mm. Somebody got an answer for it. Yeah. Somebody got a fucking answer for it. If I motherfuckers want to sit up here and turn their cheeks and act like they don't fucking know what the fuck is going on. Cool. If it was me, I'm so proud of him for getting up there and doing what he did yesterday. Shout out to House Phone for getting up there and standing on his truth. But if it was me, nigga, I'd knock all that shit over and walk out that bitch and slam the door behind me and not give a fuck who said something about it. He working on elliptical right now. He said he, he did tell the editors to take it all out. They missed the part. He says now the fans are acting like he aired his boy out, which is you, on purpose. He said, listen, I'm, uh, so I asked him, I said, listen, you can just hop on, just audio, you don't even got to be on video. He said, I'm not really trying to make it look like I'm enjoying this. He says, this is really super shitty, and I feel terrible I caused it. He says, although, to be honest, she called him out on the IG Reel post before that podcast came out. 
but fans didn't see it. That's the thing I would say, Adam, this is where you fuck up. If she's calling out your employee before you interview her, why interview her? I get it. Like, like it's it's different. You know, I don't know how much stuff you guys do live. If it's if it's like some shit that she sprung on y'all live or like it was just whatever, cool. But like, if y'all saying that she was saying this stuff before she even got there, why even do it? The editor is culpable. Adam is culpable. Adam should have. Adam should have said. Yo, we're going to hold this episode for review of my nigga. The nigga that helped build the platform. That's number one. Adam's to be blamed. The editor's to be blamed. The producer's to be blamed. Nigga, I'm blaming everybody in there. Don't blame the fucking clout chasing motherfucker. They're going to say anything at any time. Don't blame them. Blame is, yo, you're getting exposed on your own platform. It's not by the ops. It's not by some. It's you're getting exposed by your own man. Oh, yeah. I just want to say this. How the fuck did Adam not? Know? By the way, house phone. This is facts, bro. How did how house phone? How did Adam not know where before the person said anything, bro? Adam said, "I am going to be called a bad friend." How did he not know? Why are we making excuses, bro? I, mean, I, didn't... I understand you want to ask follow-up questions instead of addressing the fact no, that you're it... a fucking snake, but... I, bro, I didn't say that. Like, 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 seriously. Well, it's pretty crazy that you're just lying more right now. I, like, like literally, like, I don't... If I would have said it, like, I, like, when did I say that? No, you did. In addition to, like, the way that I was so unceremoniously fired in and of itself being shady, like, I don't fucking know, bro. But that shit's out of pocket. Oh, for sure. That's Adam and them pushing them narratives on the Reddit. That's Adam and them pushing them pun narratives. That's Adam and them trying to push them. Well, that shit's about to relapse. They're, that's Adam. The They're beautiful the black people suffer, victimized by the oppressive, harsh realities of the hood. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Nessie! They got them internet brigades doing that weird shit, and they're mad that I called them out. They banned me about 50 times from that bitch. But you can't ban the man, man. You can't VPN, man. You can't do that. I'm going to be back on there, and I'm going to keep exposing them. VPN ganger, don't bang. I appreciate I, I appreciate you though, Crush. You feel me? At the end of the day, I'm not asking you to always fuck with me or always co-sign everything oh, no, I do. No, but I'm gonna clear that up. I'll fuck with you. I always that's just love. Saw for, for trying to protect him. I, fuck, I know you got a good heart. I know. I know how you are. I watch you. You good, bro? That's on me. So. Hey, I appreciate it. And by the way, you know you're on live, right? Like you know you've been on live this whole time, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because people in the chat. Fuck Destiny. Fuck Adam. Fuck Josh. And uh, Bastai, I'm still iffy on you because you blocked me on Twitter when I tried to tell you about the shit that was going on. I, I do fuck with Bastai. She a cool person, but like, it sucks that people get uh, you know, tore up, uh, you know, caught up in the mix. What do you think is the future? Like, unbiasedly, I know that obviously you have like, you like, you wouldn't have gotten involved with No Jumper uh, Reddit if you weren't a fan to begin with. You obviously fuck yeah. with it to an extent. What do you think is the future of No Jumper, considering so many people have left in the past week? What are your predictions? Man, Adam's gonna try to play it like nothing happened. You know, he's still down uh, uploading videos, like shit's all good. But the more you keep doing that, the more people's gonna see how weird you are. This is weird, bro. The whole world damn near talking about this shit. This shit's weird. Adam he's trying to act like he ain't do nothing. Trying to act, hold no accountability for it. It's only gonna make it worse over time. As the Reddit keeps getting more and more, you know, uh it's crazy and exposing people and racist stuff on there. You're going to be able to tell the OG Reddit from the V2. The, 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 the cold thing about this whole thing is... He, even if he wanted to get rid of me, right? Like, he felt like I betrayed him, you know, which I didn't mean to, but I, I, I fucked up by speaking on that shit. Now, if he wanted to... If he didn't fire me on the live, not only would that have not brought all this attention and extra pressure on everybody else who then wound up talking about it, reacting to it, and kind of perpetuated and exasperated the process that made everybody else leave, but everyone else wouldn't have been digging into his past and trying to put all that other shit on blast. Exactly. That's the sociopathic shit I'm talking about, the lack of self-awareness. How do you expose Howell's phone? You changed that man's life. 
and your fans attacking him while he's at his mom's bedside. She's about to pass away. You, you talking to a man who's still dealing with grieving the loss of his mother, and you had the nerve to sit in that motherfucking newsroom and say his mom shit, his, his health shit. He's really going through something. And the only thing that that motherfucker needs around him right now is people that fucking care. I, I have a line that I draw as far as, like, my personal life and personal shit. Bro, I, nigga, I spoke, I spoke on the situation with my mother from the day she got sick to the day she passed away every fucking week on this fucking show, my nigga. Every part of my fucking life is not about to be broadcasted on this show, bro. So no, what the, why the fuck would I bring this up about some random ass shit that happened some fucking three, four years ago? Why? Why would I bring that up? For what? And, and, and by the way, I, I want to give you credit because um, also for every, everybody, you know, listen, for everybody who's been following me for a long time, I think I'm in my 30s now, bro. Okay? I, I know we still give it up like we 16, but I'm in my 30s now, bro. And, you know, I tell you, I see everything. Um, I knew about, you know, the whole thing with, with your mom. Yeah. And, you know, that's the reason why I wanted to address this a little bit different because, you know, it's not everything is just jokey joke time. You know what I mean? When people have been going through a hard time, like we all live in life and life don't work out and life ain't fair. It don't work out the same for everybody. So, um, just kind of watching how, you know, I feel like you're thrusted in this position where now people want answers from you. Cause that's not what's good. That's, that's the biggest thing, right? People are not like, Oh, well we want to know. And you turn around and call somebody else a snake. What are you talking about? Dude, man, think about somebody attacking you while your mom's on her deathbed. Like you walked up by her bedside, bro. That's all you got. You would send a racist to attack them. Sending, talking about house on scam and starting that whole narrative in the ready to. And that's the thing, I wasn't even armed right like, with the red after that Joe Button shit. Ever since then, I started seeing the weird shit. I know that after that Joe Button shit, how the fuck could you, how was Joe Button wrong in that While situation? I was in New York, I had the pleasure of going on Joe Button's podcast. Yes. It was basically a three hour slugfest brawl. Yeah, they just pack you out. Arguing, <laughs> just crazy arguing. And uh, I don't. I think the three-hour version is coming out on Patreon like today. Like mm. they put out the clips first, and then it, the full thing comes out on Patreon, whatever. But like the clips are kind of instructive of what happened there. So it's like, uh, is it? Is you think the full is going to be worse though? The full definitely has like more depth. Like you get yeah. to hear us argue about more things. You get to actually hear us agree about some things and have like some normal conversation before oh. we start duking it out. But yeah, it was basically a four a three-hour slugfest and. You know, it would be very unbecoming for somebody to claim victory in a debate because debates are so subjective <laughs> and everything like that. So, I mean, I really, I leave it to the people. And when I, I spent, fuck I've spent quite a bit of time looking at Twitter, looking at Instagram, looking at our Reddit, looking at his Reddit, looking at, uh, you know, the YouTube comments, of course. I think, I'm pretty sure I went into the fucking danger zone with four ops. <laughs> unprepared, no idea what was going to be brought up. Yeah. And I feel like even his fans are handing me the W. So I'm kind of walking around like I got an S on my chest. On the I, I WB. Pretty good, guys. I don't know, man. I think that the, <laughs> the no jumper, like I feel like no jumper, <laughs> J JBP is 1-0. and o. Like I feel like we kind of, <laughs> I, I feel like I brought Talk the title home for y'all. Are we, are we shit, raging bro. war right now? Stop the cap. <laughs> No bullshit, bro. Oh, why wouldn't I not? <laughs> why would I not? Hey, Ish, make your way to the top to, to center stage. Take the podium, yo. They was really on your ass last time we had Adam over here. They was on all of us. I made him apologize when I spoke to him. You apologize. Apologize. apologize to me, oh boy. We were oh, you made him apologize. We were right in the mother. <laughs> <laughs> the internet don't ever come back around and say, hey, y'all was right. I was tripping, tripping with that one. No, oh no, man, no. so uh, so long. <laughs> the gang is angry at Adam. The gang all ups and leaves. Wow. Yeah. And that's totally separate from the pedophile stories that are running around. Yeah, it was some wild. Stuff. There's uh, new pedophile stories too. A bunch. Yeah. Oh shit. All right, I can well, put that one together for you really quickly if you want to hear it. I mean, yes, by, by all means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the floor is According yours. According to Adam. 
Adam meets Adam meets a girl online <laughs> that is 16. He didn't know she was 16. He thought that she was older. This girl came referred from friends, right? He meets the girl at 19. While she's 19, he wants to make that very clear that he meets the girl at 19 years old. I think they lose contact for a little bit. A few years later, they reconnect off a Facebook algorithm. Somehow they end up fucking. He stays at her mom's house. They fuck. Uh, and then years go by, and then she accuses him of rape. So his rape allegation <clears throat> is this same girl from the pedophile story. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm just giving you the when facts. When did he pop? How old was he? Uh, he was older. 40? 35? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, no. in his 20s. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, he was in his 20s. Because he said when, he, when, when she was 16. I don't care when, I don't care like when he popped. You like that. dudes out there that be grooming 15 and 16-year-olds so you can it. fuck them later on, I think it's disgusting. Talk about it. Mm. I always said, I, mm -hmm. I always said dudes that like, oh, she 18 and now you could beat. I think you just as you That's just weird. as fucked yeah. up yeah. Mm -hmm. because the only thing with the only difference between eighteen and seventeen is a day. It's a mm -hmm. month. Yeah. No, it's a day. Yeah, right. you're right. No, you I seven, agree with you, yeah, but it's a day. Yeah. And, and I, I agree I, so I don't roll with that. Right? I agree. You with niggas that. is trash too. I but anyway, I tried to hold him accountable for all the things that we spoke to him about on this podcast, which is milking the hip hop culture dry for every penny that you can, and then making a pivot and disassociating yourself. And going to Nazis? Bro, that is exactly That's what I've said. And, and handling is. Nazi people with more care than you handle the rappers. Yep. For you to have a whole staff of black people working for you, mm -hmm. just to interview the Nazi in a polite way. Like, if you interview the Nazi, you should give him the smoke. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you laughing at slavery jokes or if you laughing at any negative thing that he's saying about a, a culture that represents um, what you've made your fortune off of, that is disgusting, my nigga. Very disgusting. And that Absolutely. is what I've been saying, that these white people have the privilege of dis discarding the black mm -hmm. culture at their leisure mm -hmm. once they up and once they rich. But are we going to blame the black people that join him and participate in his buffoonery? No, I'm not. No. no. I'm not. We're not going to blame them. No, I'm not. No, because at the time it didn't... Wasn't that. You don't know that that's yeah. that. that person is that. Yeah, it's not, yeah. He's, really? not he's not presenting, oh, by the way, as soon as I get on, I'm leaving all you niggas. never behind. negative about a, you know... Um, Adam... Adam and his girl. There's nothing. Neg uh, there's nothing negative about uh, Yuri's girl. Uh, we like. Hold on. That's cool. It's fine. But now that we see that they're mods, it's crazy because there's something negative about Ad's girl. Everybody, mama, this and that and the other, and niggas is laughing at us. And then they say, "Oh well, Josh is a mod." We like. Oh, dun, Yuri's dun, dun, a mod. Dun, dun. We like. Oh. I think the craziest shit is. When they bring up y'all kids, I think that's crazy. That's fucked up, and you don't tell the moms don't don't fucking bring our kids. Oh, like, hey, that's oh, why I don't look at type of bias shit. What type of bias shit is this? <laughs> don't, we never tell them. To... <laughs> this is fucking bias that's here, part huh? Of the rules. There's no harassment. We tell help them to keep kids and shit out of it. We also try not to censor. It's a really fucking delicate line. The master mod, huh? <laughs> yeah. mm. The master mod. I've never yeah. deleted a post on the Reddit. The master mod. Look, guys, all five I've of you guys. Wait, wait, post is on it true Yuri is one in? Mm. Yeah, Yuri has to be Whoa. one. What? Well, the well, two look, master Josh, mods. So I gotta ask the question, right? Because so the theory I, I've realized, and and hey, Adam, I'm gonna give you this advice. I don't even want I, when, I, when I'm done, you can react to it if you want to. But I'm gonna be honest with you, and and this is this is no, n there's no fucking angle to this. I believe about a quarter of what's happening with you and your organization, everything you got going on, that fucking Reddit is disgusting. <laughs> when I go on there, <laughs> all they do is try to get y'all to fight. Okay, they start. It's like a gossip mob. You know, I was gonna I was gonna start supporting my own Reddit, and then I realized, oh, this shit's gonna just try to lead to my own destruction. Fuck it. This score is way better, but hey, that's up to you. Better check my Reddit. Yeah, you know, the Reddit that you run, the Reddit that you're the moderator of, the Reddit that you manipulate. Come on, dog. Damn. Well, I appreciate you, Crush. For real, for real. You a real one, man. It's all love. And uh, stay logged in. You feel me? Fuck with the content. And uh, you, you got my number. Log in anytime, player. All right, bro. Appreciate it. All right, it's love. Go on. 
We take one more call, then we gonna get back to this music. What's going on? on something with a yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Shouts to No Jumper. Uh, shouts, shouts to the No Jumper V2 Reddit. Shouts to y'all. Real talk. I wasn't allowed to go on y'all anymore. It's this that they fear. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't have no army. That's right. I just know the truth. And I'm here to separate the good Jews from the satanic Jews. This is just the beginning, banning me from a social platform. That's right. I use that platform with respect. That's right. I never allow those who follow me to become vile as those who speak evil of us. So I am dangerous. Not to you. Unless you feel that Father Flager's invitation to me may hurt St. Sabina. They don't have the power to hurt St. Sabina if you don't give them that power. He said, tell a joke. And he's like, a Jew? And I was like, bro, Josh is a Jew. Like, he's about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion which was misdiagnosed by a I'm not going to say what race what people uh, doctor and what hospital and what media went to we know I can't say that it was a Jewish Every time doctor. I'm just holding stride and it's like I didn't I thought I was more Malcolm X, but I find out I'm more MLK because as I'm getting hosed down every day by the press and financially, I'm just standing there. And when when I found out that they tried to put me in jail, it was like a dog was biting my arm and I, 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 I almost shed a tear almost. But I still walked in stride through it. Yeah, I, I think I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who was they, though? We can't Cor say who they is, can we? Press. I'm not using the, I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking. It is uh, that. Uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. But uh, shout out to y'all. Even though the, the Reddit be all kind of awesome Mickey shit, I do fuck with that V2 more. I sip opioids, my guy from, uh, who was one of the originators of the V2. All right. Um, has it been hard to not relapse, or how how's that been for you since um since the whole firing and shit? Yeah, like so, like I said, when um when it when I left, no jumper that day. So Adam basically he says, I think it'd be best if you just leave, right? Um, I I go outside. Um, or, or I'm in. So like the 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 door to the streaming room is right by the back door to leave the building. So I'm just kind of lingering there. I'm taking phone calls and shit. Security guard tone walks up, tells me to dip. I wind up bouncing. I get in the I get in my whip and I just start driving. And I'm driving all around the motherfucking Valle and just mobbing through because I don't want to stop anywhere because my instinct was I'm going to go to the liquor store and get me a bottle. Out of anything I've been through with my mom being diagnosed with Alzheimer's, my bitch leaving me, going from uh, 200 bands up to almost 100K in debt, all the shit that I've been through since I got sober. The hardest was this past Monday. And because uh, I did have so much faith put into No Jumper and so much love. Uh, shouts, uh, um, hold on one second. Per 
Uh, shouts to P. Perez. Love from Harlem. Loving this real hip hop shit. Lush. Appreciate you. Um, no, nah, but back to what I was saying. Back to the lecture at hand. Yeah, it was very difficult. And uh, I drove around for a few hours because I didn't want to stop. And I was even in the Discord trying to get a hold of the people that I thought were going to corroborate my story. And other people in the Discord were literally saying, when I told them, like, yo, I think I'm about to get something to drink, they were making jokes about it. And it shows how motherfuckers were never really my homies because they were like, what are you about to drink? Like, bro, what do you mean what am I about to drink, motherfucker? But by the grace of God, I wound up saying a prayer and didn't motherfucking drink. So, yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah, homie. That's, that's what you got to do. That you got to stay clean. Don't let them defeat you. Fuck all the haters. I appreciate that, Pedro. Yeah, my boy. What's up? Northridge. What's up? Northridge in the house. What's uh, up? Northridge in the motherfucking building. You're on the vibes. Come on. Fuck guilty. Fuck guilty. <laughs> That's right. You feel me? Fucking with an AIDS dick. You already know. <laughs> okay, bro. Take it easy, bro. I'll be watching. All right, be smooth, player. Much love. Buzz Bissinger, look, my capo regime, Mr. Noradine, and my oldest son, I made... People saying that Guilty is from Pacoima, he says he's from Pacoima, his family is from Porter Ranch, he's actually um, from a very successful, wealthy family from Porter Ranch, so I don't believe that Pacoima shit, but shout out to Pacas, come on. equally proud to... Yes, I'm going to be doing all kinds of recovery content, and... Uh, by the grace of God, throughout all these murky waters that I've been traversing recently, I am still clean and sober and on the path of recovery, which I'm not going to lie. The closest I ever was to relapsing since I got sober was Monday. And after that shit happened, after I got um, asked to leave the show or whatever, I was driving around for like two and a half hours because i knew if i needed to pull if i knew if i was going to pull over i would uh go to the liquor store and i was really thinking about show it. is taxes death and trouble so crazy like when i'd be seeing comments encouraging or welcoming or just like wishing upon a relapse if you see somebody that had cancer and winds up beating cancer. Even if even if you don't like them, or you like, oh, I hope them fucking cancer cells get cracking, and we and they um m metastasize again, and we get that, and when that re re um, remission ends, I hope that cancer comes back. Like y'all are some sick motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie, I was literally that close to relapsing that day. Ladies, as babies, we were from Similac and Infamil to the twenty dollars for my boy Eric. Will ruin your day be doing any more battle rap commentary and old battles with the group like you, Ill Mac Chase? Yeah, absolutely. We for sure gonna be doing that on the regular. Greater than no jumper, twenty dollar dono. I appreciate it. I think we made a hundred dollars today. That's fucking crazy. And uh, like I said, with this new deal. And this new sponsorship, I'm already making more money than I was at No Jumper, and I was doing well. This is fucking crazy. I feel the How, hey, cocaine bot emojis. If y'all feeling this so far, if y'all are feeling this format, if you want to continue me doing shit like this, let me know. If you're not feeling it, let me. I'm know. gonna be having some people from the No Jumper world over here, so don't even worry about it. And if it wasn't for AD, I would not have my new deal that I got. So shouts to him. Brain matter can I'm on nah, it's, it's not. Look, I can't even say I'm strong for not relapsing. It is by the grace of God. It is not my mine. There is no credit of my own to give. It is the Almighty. Um. So as far as the uh, good question, how did the merch Rouse, the cocaine Rouse. bot do for No Jumper? Um. I think they sold s uh, roughly around a little less than 200 of those hoodies. I have not seen a dollar from them yet, and I don't know if I will. I was supposed to, but I don't know what's going to happen with that. I got to be honest. You can shop with but I kind of I want to do my own cocaine bot merch very, very soon. I might reach out to my boy Blazzy for that. My son is size eight prior to their release. Cause why wait? Look, in my state, I got electrified gates for these blase guys hating at a high rate. Cause I dodged fake and got great. The fly straight. I'm 22 with the two dollar and twenty cents. Don't know. Call me, bro. I'm crying. I'm fucking crying now. They say it asleep. 
Yes, I am from a wealthy family. This is not a motherfucking secret. I was also on my own since I was 17 and in the system since I was 13 and have been estranged from my family for decades. But yes, this is true. Is firm. The flags need soil. I'm sorry that my parents were successful and your parents are fucking picking fucking fleas out of each other's ass cracks and fucking doing crystal meth. My bad. Ooh, we, uh, Royce Let, me, Fire. Them, Let me ask y'all the question. A lot of people have had an aversion to the fact that I've been wearing these jeans. Hey, I appreciate you, Rusty. I appreciate the... the su I didn't even know that I could get Super Chats, but the fact that I'm getting Super Chats is fucking awesome. And uh, I appreciate all that love. I see consensus of two times a week for jeans. I don't know, like... My... I don't be smelling bad. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I feel Fine. like when I get a pair of jeans I like, I'll be wearing the fuck out the most. I didn't text a talk saying, a hey, don't section. shout out to second Reddit because uh, we cannot delete shit over there and we can't control it. And now he's mad that he has a Reddit that can say whatever they want. And he cannot yeah. control it. He gets finally treated how he treats everybody else. He don't control you shit don't over here. Make sure you post them on a V2 and not an OG one. Because it's gonna get deleted over there. That's why we, you feel me? We on the V2, bro. Stop the cap. Okay. V2 on Reddit. That's the new, the new. Oh, that's the one Cuz was hot about. <laughs> yeah, he just what he was mad okay. about. See ass nigga.